So recently we did a video on MMIs and because I'm an Imperial College student I thought it might be useful for those of you who want to go to Imperial to have a video on the Imperial one specifically. So we're going to talk about very quickly some tips that I have for Imperial, what the interviews are like uh, and also some things that you should be doing. So we'll talk generally about all of that in this very quick video and if that sounds like a good idea to you let's get straight into it. So the Imperial MMI is actually not too different from other medical schools. I think a lot of people have a lot of concern about it and worry that it's going to be something different and there's going to be like a station where you're tested on a Rubik's Cube or like they're going to ask you some riddles or they're going to get you to do lateral thinking. There are no sort of weird stations, let's just set that straight. Every station is normal, they're the typical stations that you expect from any MMI. They're not out to trick you anywhere, you don't need to do some really weird sort of preparation like learning how to counting how many air particles there are in a room or measuring the volume in a particular cup of water that's not a real station and it won't be at imperial so it might be something that comes up at random other unis but for imperial they really test you on the standard stuff in fact they're nice enough to give you a list of the stations that they're going to test you on so you basically know what's going to come up and i'll put that list on the screen it's also on the website so you can go and have a look as well but i really recommend checking out the imperial admissions website because they do tell you actually quite a lot about the mmi they want you to come prepared they don't want you to be caught off guard and they really want to see that what you can bring to the university you know they don't want to catch you out and you don't ask you any weird questions they want to see genuinely how good of a medical student will you be so that's the mmi some really important tips let's just say this first imperial love work experience and even more they really enjoy volunteering so those two things are basically what you should be hammering home in every station especially if you've done loads of volunteering really tell them about it go into depth about it really reflect on it talk about things that you've learned things that you've seen how that's going to change you as a doctor people say this time and time again but please 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 reflect it's the most important thing you can do in an interview if you don't reflect, you're gonna struggle and you probably won't get in. I'm gonna be honest, that sounds scary, but it's also really silly. The easiest thing to do is reflect. Literally, think about your volunteering experiences. Don't need to pick a particular episode or particular thing or particular event. Just generally, what have you learned from it? Like, everyone's learned something. Whether it's how to talk to people, whether it's how to empathize with people who are struggling, whether it's organization from working in a shop and organizing various finances, organizing various clothes, all these things are going to translate into you being a better doctor in some capacity. So please reflect, talk about volunteering a lot. They love it. They really love it. So please do bring up a lot in your MMIs because not only is volunteering a good show of how dedicated you are towards medicine, but it's also just a good show of how nice of a person you are. You know, you've given up free time. You've basically gone to do work for other people. You've not got any money for it. And even if you have got money from your work, the fact that you've still given up time is it's a good thing. So yeah just really bring it up and milk it yeah you know milk it really hard because they love it they will really enjoy hearing you talk about volunteering so yeah just do that your personal statement will come up in imperial so whether it's in person or virtual i don't know but regardless your personal statement will come up in some capacity revise it make sure you know everything you've talked about and you've brought up basically everything that you want to bring up also learn on your personal statement all the scientific stuff that you've talked about so i said this in my first video about mmis this year but again i'm going to ram it home if you said anything scientific in that personal statement whether it's the name of a charity like british heart foundation or duchenne muscular dystrophy uk whether it's a book that you've read like bad farmer which is quite a common one that comes up in medical interviews or whether you've watched a medical TV program, I don't know, whether you enjoyed a particular episode of House that you referenced in your personal statement, I don't know, anything medical, literally anything that involves some medicine, revise that, so like if there was the British Heart Foundation or Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy, learn basic heart disease, learn basics on Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy, if it's for example the book Bad Pharma, learn the bit about pharmacology that you've referenced, or at least know what that book says have a summary of it pick out some key points in the book so like some key chapters or key lines or key anecdotes that the author talks about just to bring up an interview if it's about a tv episode which i don't know if any of you'd have done so but if you brought up a tv episode on house that was about acute pancreatitis for example learn what acute pancreatitis is what the treatment is what the management is and basically learn the basics don't go too in depth you know use an nhs website as a reference for all your medical needs but 
do learn it, don't ignore it because they will bring up. For me, they brought up dementia because I said I worked at a elderly person's home where I spoke to patients who had neurological conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Lewy body dementia. They quizzed me on it. They asked me what are the five types of dementia that people commonly talk about? What is dementia? What is the pathophysiology behind it? How can you treat patients with it? And they didn't expect me to know too much, you know, they really just were interested in what I knew. And this isn't something that's going to come up for you because it's unlikely you've used the same condition, but they do ask you about medical diseases that you brought up in your personal statement. And I don't think this is particularly specific to Imperial. I think any university is going to test you on this. And also, it's just something that you should know about because it's going to be good. It'll make you feel more confident when you're talking about your work experience volunteering. So please do revise that. It's really important. Your BMAT, revise what you spoke about in your section three. That can come up. It's come up in the past. I don't think it came up at my interview, but in some cases they can bring out your BMAT section three essay and said, so you wrote about this in your BMAT. Have your views changed on it? You know, do some more research about the topic. Say that you maybe haven't changed your views or you have changed your views. Or if the topic's changed in the last few weeks between the BMAT and your MMI, talk about it. So just again, learn some basics about that topic. If you can't remember what you wrote, at least have an opinion going into the exam or the MMI and say that I've kind of changed my opinion a little bit in this sense, but I might not have in this sense. So basically just do some revision about the topic that you wrote your BMAT on or your section three BMAT on. And if you don't remember what you wrote about, like what the question was, ask your friends. It's really important that you know this because it can come up at interview. And finally, be confident. Imperial are sort of a really modern university. They're really chill. Medical students even do the station sometimes, like Imperial is sort of a really family vibe. You know, there's not too much in the way that you'll get consultants testing you or you'll get professors testing you or you'll get lecturers testing you. It's more like junior doctors, nurses, medical students. Imperial is a really nice sort of university in the sense that it gives you really relaxing vibes. It's sort of very close with the community so you will have really relaxed interviews everyone just wants you to be relaxed and chilled and no one wants you to be nervous so don't be nervous everyone's there to make you happy you'll have medical students like myself who are taking you around the university beforehand and you can have an optional tour afterwards as well i preference i chose not to because i kind of wanted to go home and relax after my mmi but if you want to stick around and see the campus you can do so but it's like a really relaxed vibe. The university is far more chilled out than a couple of other universities might do. I think Imperial's really good for that. They offer a lot of welfare, they offer a lot of support, and they really try and make sure you're not scared at your interview by giving you interviews who are really nice and calm. So that spiel is very sort of biased, I think, because I go to Imperial, but I really honestly felt most relaxed in my Imperial MMI. They're super nice. They're a great group of people. You'll actually really enjoy your MMI. It'll feel like a conversation by like your fifth station. So it'll feel really chilled and really mellow and sort of nice and slow. So don't worry, don't get anxious. The worst thing you can do is make yourself nervous. Just go into it like it's a mock MMI. I treat every MMI that I ever did like a mock. I went in thinking, okay, this is just another practice station. I'm just gonna do it and see how I do. No pressure at all. And that's the best way you do it. Put a smile on, seem happy, talk loads, and just really seem enthusiastic. That's the most important thing. And if you can do all those things, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, a quick key thing, on the mark scheme, there's actually a box for anxiety, and they're not going to penalise you if you're anxious, but in the sense it's there so that they can pick out any students who weren't anxious, because that seems like, you know, they're really enthusiastic about what they're talking about. Because more often than that, if you're enthusiastic about your, what you're talking about, you won't be anxious or nervous or sort of on edge. So please don't take away really easy marks by being nervous. Be confident, and when you're confident, even if you get stuff wrong, they don't care. And even if they did care, which they don't, being confident is less likely to tell them that you're wrong. You know, if you just talk with chest and talk with confidence, you'll seem far more like you're right. So yeah, if there's ever a gray area, you'll seem like you're right if you're confident. That's everything. We've spoken about quite a lot in that video. Um, it's a lot to digest, so if you want to go back to any part of the video, you can. The timestamps are all down below. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and you found it useful. Uh, that's why I make these videos. If you've got questions, you can comment them down below. Hit me up on Instagram. If you're a current medical student watching this, great. And if you're at Imperial watching this, even better. You can come and say hello to me uh, if you are doing your MMI and you see me around, or if you're doing your MMI and get in, that's also a bonus. Um, so you can come and see me. Uh, 
don't think about me too much in your MMI. I mean, if you want it, you can. Uh, if you want to talk about this channel, you can in your MMI. You can use it. I'm happy for you to talk about this. You know, you can say that you researched it by looking at previous medical students. Happy for you to do so. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. You're all going to smash your MMIs anyway. You're going to do fine. Uh, you know, I have full faith in you. I get a lot of messages every day about people who get into university watching my videos, so I'm sure you guys are all fine. I know how smart you guys are, so it'll be absolutely okay. No worries. If you do have any concerns, you can message me directly, um, or contact me, or comment down below, like I said earlier. But yeah, I won't keep you anymore. Go and enjoy your day, and yeah, see you in the next video.